So I'm here right now at the Kurt Cobain Memorial Park. Uh, I drove all the way out here to Aberdeen from Seattle about two hours away. It's nighttime now. First off, this sign uh, that says this is not Kurt Cobain's house. They probably get people up their ass about that all the time. Uh, so this is Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain Landing or Kurt Cobain's Memorial Park. I know they had hours, but you walk over here and there's a statue here, guitar. This is kind of the, there's two memorials for Kurt. One in the Aberdeen, one in this house in Seattle. I've been to both today. I got the statue right here. And this is the Wish Car River. Please stay off the statue. I'm assuming people try and climb this. Um, trash can, is that a trash can? Yeah, they even made their own trash can design here at this park. Um, this is the Kurtz Air Guitar. And this is, I think this is the sign right here. It's a lot colder in Aberdeen than it is in Seattle, I will say that. June 24th, 2015. This is the Kurt Cobain Memorial Park. Stickers all over this. I'm gonna add one of my own stickers. I've been putting stickers all over Washington State. Uh, QR codes to my channel. I'm gonna add that in a minute here. And then this is cool, I like this right here. So Kurt's body was cremated and his ashes, they actually have no idea where his ashes are today. So this is the only thing we have that's close to a, a grave for Kurt. Uh, has a lot of quotes from Kurt on the actual grave itself. Not too many people have been here to any of the attractions I've been to today, mostly because it's a weekday that I'm here. And this is probably the coolest parts. Uh, Nirvana's Something in the Way was written about this bridge right here. This is the Young Street Bridge in Aberdeen. And you can see all of the graffiti, all the people have been down here. And apparently Kurt used to come stay under this bridge. And apparently that may not be true though, because apparently the water will actually rise all the way up into here. And it's quite slippery to back that claim up if someone's been here recently, it looks like. It's a tent. There's graffiti and all that everywhere. I have my light on, but it's not really doing a whole lot. Um, it's definitely really cool to be here. This is pretty much the last stop before I go back home. But all of this writing for just years and years. Well, since, yeah, someone has been here semi-recently, it looks like, camped under this bridge. Uh, I'm trying to see what's kind of under the bridge here. It doesn't look as much under the bridge. Water and garbage and this is right there in memoriam from the muddy banks of the wish call which was a live nirvana album that was the muddy banks of the wish call is right here you're looking at it right now it's just cool as a lifelong nirvana fan ever since i was a little kid I love Nirvana's music, and it is really interesting to be here finally after all of these years of wanting to go. And there isn't a better way to cap off the tour, I guess, or end it, than coming to the Kurt Cobain Memorial Bridge and his memorial little park here. But yeah, this water definitely will rise because it's all muddy, and that water will definitely rise probably through the year. So I'm gonna go stick a, one of my stickers on the sign. I'll show you guys that now, and then I'm gonna get out of here. So people have added stickers all over this and I've added my own now. So if you guys do come to Kurt Cobain's Memorial uh, in Aberdeen, there you go right there. That is one of my stickers. So please let me know, uh, contact me on Instagram. Uh, if you actually do come here and see my sticker, I'd love to see it if it's still held up and actually stayed on here. But I'm gonna go back now guys. I'm actually gonna go to Kurt's house now, his Aberdeen home where he grew up. And then just real quick before I go, guys, this is uh, Kurt's house that he grew up in, apparently. According to the sign, 1210. Here we are, 1210. So not much to see. There's someone doing yard work right there. But this is Kurt's house. There's really not much to see. They put a new fence up, I see, just to kind of keep people out. I'm assuming it's his private property. They don't want to be bothered here, and I don't blame them. But, yeah, that's Kurt Cobain's house.